we're going on a uh, turkey hunt. Probably not the best way to do it. <laughs> They've been doing the same thing for three days. So we are going to try to walk over here and get ahead of them. There's about 75, 100 yards across the creek. There's a big tree. They roost, been roosting in it. And they come out of it again this morning. And from that roost, they've been drifting across to this side of the creek. And then that tom has been strutting around up here 30 40 minutes every morning making nothing but a god awful lot of noise. <laughs> Nobody else wanted to get up this morning. Can't blame them. Stupid tattletail. Hey, tattletail. Anyway. It was a long day yesterday. I, mean, I can't even keep track how many days we've been out here. Coming up on my improvised turkey bond, which is basically just a tree. I'm not here in the gobbler. Man, it took me too long to get over here. I'd like to have y'all out for the hunt and everything, but if I keep talking to y'all. This is never going to work. Now, hunting for your food. Is one thing. Hunting for sport is one thing. Trying to hunt for food or for sport and get it on camera. That is a completely different thing. We have missed more food out here. Trying to get it on camera before we pull the trigger. If it was deer season, I've had three opportunities at deer. But each time you take a deer, that's one less deer within your range of hunt. So, meanwhile, there is an abundance of food out here. I've got a one mile trip back. I've got to harvest a bunch of vegetables. But you know, you can practice doing this with the camera. You don't have to shoot what you hunt. You take the camera and go out there and just in practice stocking up on it and getting a picture of it. The shooting part's easy. Getting close enough to pull the trigger or let go of the string. That's the hard part. That's why nobody wants to practice. The work. Anyway, I'm gonna get off here. He's not gobbling here. He's I can hear one sounding way over there. So I've got to go that way about another 50, 75 yards and cruise around and i got to walk full to get ahead of them now. I've got to go about nine, 900,000 feet. So, I'll see y'all later. Wrong button. I'm over here at the hog trail. 
We had this set and spawn in the corn debate. It's uh, mostly gone. There's nothing in there. Let's see what we got here. Maybe it's an invisible unicorn. It was a hog. He's in here long enough to take his crap. Or two. We're gonna get out. Hey. Check and see what which part of the trap is busted again. Here's a little bit pointing there, you see it. Must have been small ones. One was inside and the other one was outside and you know, something. Gate must have got open and got back out. Damn it. Doesn't think I can see it. Where is it? That one is 150 yards, uh, 200 yards. Where's you? That one is. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Let me make y'all see sick in This is a marsh. Those trees look inviting, don't they? There's places inside them that the water's three inches deep.
that's not trapped by or that's not water from the rain that's always there One planet on coming all the way to the river didn't bring no bait. The cows are nice enough to pack us this nice little trail. Cows ain't supposed to be over here, they keep getting out. Ooh, that line's tight. Let's see what happens. Sit up back here a little bit. Two for two. Going back down here and reach bait them. It's not that far. It's uh, maybe uh, ten minute. Ten minute walk down here. For normal folk, me because I'm lazy. It takes me about fifteen. Isn't that pretty? It's more, oh boy. more berries starting to turn purple. Finally, see there. That's what I've been waiting for. Got here and they were all still. Um, what you call it, green. All the purple ones are like really high in the tree. They fall on the ground. And the critters come and eat them. More berries. Guess what, I'm a critter too. Fair is fair. I'll beat the possum to it. Whoa. A little greedy. That one was a lot greedy. Still sweet as can be. <laughs> Purple fingers. Let's see if I can find some that are low. 
A man should be alone with his mulberries. That's Wes. I keep messing up my knife, the edge on my knife, digging up these onions and stuff. It occurred to me that I should like make me a digging stick. Ain't gotta be nothing special. sharp edges off because there's grazing animals out here. And they like this little green weed down here with flowers on it. Yellow flowers, I don't know what it is. They're eating it, it ain't dying, but I don't mean I can eat it. Actually, they're getting quite plump on it. They don't worm not. Sticks are easy. Why don't you eat my filling? Oh, this is where this is uh, the wild substitute for black pepper. Been looking for this the whole time. It's a little spicy. Those little kernels are really spiked. That's Mayan. And that's a horse. He's trying to help. He's very vicious. But yeah, that's going in the stew. Buddy, I didn't find nothing good. I don't have no no creeps or nothing. That's my camera. Been rolling in the mud again. Don't knock my camera down. Or don't break it either. When they're real young like this, these when they're when these are real young like this, these little uh, buttons are where the thorns come from. You're not gonna get all of them off like this, but you can rake them before you take them. And there's less hate to burn off of them. 
and uh, if you can get rid of these little sleeves that the thorns are growing up through, then uh, the thorns will burn off easier. Less, less work. Less work's a good thing. So we're after is less work. Well, I don't know. You know, if less works or right, word for it. So we're gonna go there. Let's see how I mean they just they'll pop off. Don't try to do this out in the middle of the cactus because all the stuff cactuses around or the pads around you have thorns too. Just pay attention to your surroundings, be careful. These are the juiciest ones of these. If you're going to your prickly pear, these are the ones to burn. They're a little more work to them. These are delicious. It's got a real mild citrus flavor. They're not that hard to get. About three or four more will be good. Little note of interest. Do not wipe your knife off on your pants after you've cut these cactus and done all this. Wipe them off on the grass. Okay? This is Wes again. It's important when you're foraging to know your weeds or whatever. Uh, wild edibles, my bad. This. Looks like a sweet pea or whatever. It's not. Don't eat that. Okay. But right next to it is this pretty little purple flower. It doesn't grow on this. Okay, this purple flower is a wine, they call them wine glasses, or wine cups. They, they're a vining plant, they grow along the ground and then they shoot up these little purple flowers. If you can find the flowers, you just kind of lift up on it and see kind of which direction, whoops, it is to... that plant start over again I'm off that one that should start it here I guess right a mosquito tree right in my way y'all see I don't Let's see if y'all can see what I'm doing here. See this dude? That's the wrong one. That's not the one I was playing with. Where'd you go? I lost my flower now. Oh, third over. Uh oh. You find. Alright. And you chase it to its forages. Now it gets thinner the farther away from the plant you get. Don't 
trying to make sure I've got the one. Oh, I left my digging stick. Dang it, it's way back here. This one's got out in the path. Anyway, you trace up all the little vines back to the middle. It's a little bit of work until you figure it out. This one's small. I've, I've collected some that are bigger than this. That is full of starches. This little deal. It's a little carrot, sweet potato, whatever. You can eat these leaves also. You know, steep them and eat them. But, uh, we're not short on greens. So that's the part we want. that in our pocket. <coughs> There's a whole field of these right here. Well not a whole field. I'm gonna grab a couple more here. Try not to harvest all of the ones you find in the first spot because you don't want to to decimate the, the plant. I mean you don't want to take it out of the area. You just want to use it. And then move on to the next spot don't don't take them off don't harvest everything you see in the first area you see it or it will not be there again okay that's what I'm talking about where's this personal log date today note to self don't forget your cactus petals Got to chase some roots. And I love my cactus petals way back there. <laughs> my blisters. Found them. Um, 